Isabella reporting for Hollywood Connections on Tan Talk Radio at the 2016 Comic Con in Tampa. I'm here with Elliot Fernandez, also known as Jerkmonger. Right, so he is an artist here, and this is some of his art that's set up here at Comic Con. So, can you tell us um, a little bit about yourself and how you got into art? Yeah, um, I originally uh, started as a. Uh, I've been a creative director and an art director for a licensed sports apparel company in the past for almost 20 years. Uh, but throughout that time, I kind of had a secondary passion for for fantasy art, comic book arts, you know, superhero stuff, and um, you know that kind, that whole the proverbial you know I've been drawing all my life type of thing has been a. a a reality as, as far as I'm concerned but um, it was only it was about six years ago that I started doing commission work for people uh, based on just them wanting to see me draw certain things and I said yeah sure for you know try that out for money it became like a secondary source of income and I just this year switched over to doing this full-time so yeah and I love your art where do you get the inspiration from to do this you know comic and fantasy drawings what, what inspires you well uh, I've been a, a uh, a fan of basically American illustrators uh, through the the early 1900s. Uh, you know your Norman Rockwells, the Brandywine guys. I was a big fan of Frank Frazetta, who was a, f a famous science fiction and fantasy artist. Um, he's known for like his Conan work and stuff like that. But uh, early early comic book artists were big for me. I, I grew up in in the 70s and 80s, reading a lot of old what they call the Bronze Age of comics. And uh, some of those artists were kind of influenced also by those same American illustrators. So it's more of like a just that kind of body of work and that influence of of strong figure work and that kind of stuff. So I just took that and I started to apply it to my own work and um, it's been serving me well ever since. So do you ever do like collaborations with authors for some of your like original work or do you do like um, inspired work like the different characters? Like how do you do it? I know you're selling it here but do you also do like illustration? Yeah, as a matter of fact, um, I, last year I was published with DC Comics on, the, on uh, Harley Quinn Power Girl and this year I've been working with Dynamite Entertainment on uh, Xena and Army of Darkness. So, in that regard, I'm I have I have a professional comic artist now. Uh, but I also uh, I do when it comes to commission work. Sometimes I I will work on things like. Uh, I've worked well. I've also done stuff for movies as, as well. I've done concept art for a couple of small horror films. Um, I've also done um, storyboarding for Marvel Animation. So I've kind of branched into a lot of the different things that I'm really into, and I've been able to utilize my my skills and my my skill sets on on various types of projects, not just fan art. So, but when I started the commission work, it was just fan art, and that just what that did was it opened up some doors where people started to notice through social media and other you know, word of mouth, yeah. So do you, when the customers come to you, do you um, sell them like this or do can they do like um, specific ask, like can they ask you for something specifically? Yeah, we, so I, I sell prints of my work, but I but what I really try to work towards is commission work. So uh, unfortunately, there's not a lot of time here at a convention to do a, an elaborate piece, but um, but they call them, they call convention sketches or con sketches and they, they're like looser drawings and people actually like that. I'm actually selling a bunch of uh, here for the uh, experimenting with a bunch of loose preliminary sketches that people kind of like uh, can, can review and just kind of see like early versions of uh, thoughts and ideas I have for other projects. Um, and I, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, if you're interested in the process of art, that seems to be what people enjoy anyway. So those looser drawings tend to be that. But uh, but yeah, that's what I strive to do, and I do that also from home. It's another way I still supplement my income with that. You know, doing. Awesome. I, I think that's cool. It's like kind of custom, right? Yeah, it's all custom. If you if you like. A lot of people have, enjoy a certain subject matter, whether it's Batman, Hulk, or zombies, or whatever it is. And um, you know, as a as a professional thing, we we charge a certain amount of money. They pay me, and I draw some pictures for them. Hopefully, it's something that I enjoy, and 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 you'll see more of my my enjoyment through the work. Uh, but. Like I told someone else, uh, uh, I enjoy whatever I'm working on at the best that I can, so it's, it is what it is. Do you have a favorite piece that you've drawn? Oh, wow. I don't know if I have a favorite piece. I mean, I guess no, because I'm always trying to grow, you know? I'm, I'm never really satisfied with anything. I, I've been able to get to a place in some of my work where it's um, more, more like what I'm... I, I hate to put a percentage on it, but I'm like at 90% of what I, where I want to be. Um, sometimes, sometimes I'm at 75%, 60%, sometimes I'm at 20% of what I think I can do. I am. 
That's not really a good thing. No, sometimes it is good though because you always work to do your best. So have you ever attended Comic Con before? Have I been to a Comic Con before? Yeah, this, uh, this is my third, I think, for Tampa. Okay. I've been doing New York Comic Con for about five years now. Wonderful. And what do you think of Comic Con itself? Well, comic conventions in general are are uh, are great. I, I mean, it's a great way to meet the people that enjoy my work as, on a regular basis. It's great to meet new people that are interested in my work. Um, but it's also great because it's it's a uh, it provides an opportunity for the creators to connect with their audience, um, not just to meet them, but to also learn more about what they're like, what who they are, what the demographics are. I you know I come from corporate uh, Fortune 500 company type of mentality, so I'm always thinking about demographics. I'm always thinking about what makes the the, the particular customer tick. And so, for me, the, one of my favorite things about it is to kind of understand the customer. Yeah. So yeah, I mean pretty much. I mean, Comic Con is just that. Other than that, I'm also a fanboy, so I love finding cool toys. Yeah, so this is a perfect place for you. Atmosphere is great for you. So, are you going to be attending any other conventions soon where you will be displaying and selling your art? I will. I'm going to be at Granite Con in the beginning of September, and I uh, will be at New York Comic Con in the beginning of October. And I think that's it for the rest of the year. I start off next year. I'll be actually the next con. I'll be in 17. The first one will be Pensacon in Pensacola. And do you have a page or somewhere someone can follow you to to see where you're going to be setting up next? The best place to go right now, uh, before I build my website, I'm almost done with that. But I'm I I, I uh, work through a lot of uh, my customers and talking to them through Instagram. So you can find me on Jerkmonger uh, on Instagram. Is, uh, can you also purchase some of your art over online as well, or is it just a convention right now? No, you can also purchase. A, I'm, I'm building a website store for prints and such like that. But for in the meantime, you can contact me at Elliot at jerkmonger.com and directly for that kind of stuff if you're interested. Other than that, um, you can just message me on Instagram or Facebook. Wonderful. And before we go, do you have any last words for any inspiring artists like yourself who just needs a little bit of advice for getting started or if just like having a block as an artist that you can share with them? Draw all the time, even when you don't want to draw. Draw. Draw anything. Don't just draw superheroes. Don't just draw women in spandex. Draw hydrants. Draw buildings. Draw cars. Learn to draw the things that you hate so you will start stop hating them and start to love them and make them better. Okay, well, thank you so much for your time, and thank you. It was nice meeting you. You guys should definitely check out some of his art. It's wonderful. We'll get a few glimpses of what you can see a little bit closer. And thank you so much again, and stay tuned for more.